Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. To my new subscribers, hey, my name is Justice. And to the ones that's been rocking with me, what's up, your girl is back. So real quick y'all, I just wanted to get on here and kind of piggyback off my last video I made where I was basically talking about being careful with accepting help from certain people. I know when you go through something and you in survival mode, sometimes you kind of feel like you can trust people again or especially when somebody coming in your time of need and they offering you a certain type of assistance you have to be careful with that and basically what i was trying to say is some people out here are opportunists especially if it's people that you don't already had dealings with and you already know how they is they know how how you is and they see an opportunity to come back around you may have been doing good you may have had these people at a certain distance, cut them off or whatever. And you've been doing good. You've been on the right path. You've been, you know, striving towards your goals and everything. You've been reading your Bible and just trying to stay on, stay on track. You've been real peaceful. But it's like, I don't know how they know y'all. That's why I say this stuff be spiritual. It's like the devil get them a little tip where they just know when you go through something or know when something going on with you and they reach out. But these people are opportunists. They see an opportunity to come back around you when you're vulnerable, when you're in survival mode, you may not be in your right state of mind. You may be stressed because something drastically done happened and now you're just trying to figure stuff out. And they see that and they come around and they take that as an opportunity to get close to you because they want, they want something from you. Whether they want to just drain you or your energy, they want to distract you, they want to get you back in all this, you know, this chaos you was you was in with them, whoever the person is, what you know, whatever part they play in your life, it's a reason. So they always try to come back and fulfill their mission. And when you're going through something, they try to do something nice or act like they're trying to help or anything because the whole goal is to get back close to you. Maybe if they get back close to you, they feel like they can get that control over you again, just suck you back into their drama. And they know that. And you have to be careful with that. Or sometimes, you know, they've been watching you. A lot of times, people like that, they always watching you. They always trying to see your next move because they 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 got an obsession with you. They jealous and they always plotting in their mind on how they can try to stop you. But see, if you on a good path and you're doing good, you keep them at a distance. But the moment you let them back around, it's like that's when they strike. And then they see they've been watching you and see you've been doing good and you this close to your goal. They can also want to come around too because they see that as an opportunity for them to try to come around you and take credit. Like you got people that will come around you. They ain't been there for you the whole time you've been trying to do something. They probably been talking about you. They probably tried to speak fear into you to make you not do it. But now they can see your progress. Say you started a business or a clothing brand or something, or anything. You going to school, and you this close to, to the finish line. And they've been watching this whole time. They've been hating. They've been talking about you and praying on your downfall, hoping you don't make it. So now, you may go through something, a little setback, a little hiccup. We all going to have it when we going through stuff. They see that, and they like, oh, this is my opportunity to come around to try to get back in. And they, they offer you this fake helping hand. They, they breadcrumb you a little bit with something and act like they're coming with pure intentions and they're genuine. But really, they could be coming around too just because they want to be a part. A lot of people that don't got nothing going on for themselves, they be that way. So they want to come around you, give you a little help, but then they want to try to take credit for your accomplishments. They want to try to convince you that you couldn't have even done this if it was without them had they not come and basically saved the day or helped you at the end. When they had no help for you in the beginning, they talked about you and they was really praying on your downfall. So it can be a couple of reasons why they come back in your time where you at your lowest and they try to offer you a little help. They can be wanting to take credit for your accomplishment or they can be coming around to try to just get access to you again, just to try to throw you off your path and uh, give you a little bit of, give you a little bit of help so you will trust them. And then next thing you know, they doing something and they done tow up everything or done set you back way further than you was. So you really just got to be careful with that. And you have to just wait on God. Sometimes when stuff get rough, but you know he been carrying you, you got to look at God's track record too. God got a track record. You know when things ain't got rough for you or you ain't see no way out or nothing, God showed up right at the last minute. Even when stuff go bad, what I learned is still always working out for you, no matter what. 
it's always working out some kind of way. You may not see it in the moment, but that's why we, we're not God. Only God know what he's doing. So even a bad workout for your good. But you got to be still and trust him and you got to pray. And you can't look around for other people to to always help you because you never know nobody motive. Not saying it's people out here that ain't going to help you and be genuine because it is people. But God can use strangers too. God can use strangers or somebody that you just met or you don't even know and they'll help you out. Because that's, that's how God moves. It ain't for us to go trying to look for people or to go backtrack to your past or people that already messed over you, that already showed you who they was. You already know they're not genuinely trying to help you. You already know they coming in and they got motive, their opportunities. You already know that. But then you think in your mind, you always want to give people the benefit of the doubt. You think that you can trust them, that they may have changed. Y'all, a lot of times people don't change, especially people like that. So that's what I was trying to say. Just like I said, coming from my last video, some people are opportunists and you have to be careful and just wait on God, y'all. Even if it look bad, even if you don't know what's going to happen next, you don't always know. You just got to pray and be still and wait on God because I promise you, he's always going to work it out. He's always going to work it out for you. So thank y'all so much for watching my video. I don't want to get on here and rant too long, y'all, because I just be talking, talking, talking. The spirit started moving. But I just want to put that out there real quick. And I just also want to say, too, to the ones that's been, like, donating to my channel and stuff, I really, really appreciate it, y'all. Y'all don't even understand, like, it's really been a big help. I love y'all so much. Y'all be sure to um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video.